In this video, we're going to show you how to correctly remove your controller from the machine. So all you're going to need for this operation is a drill or a, a hand screwdriver. First, you're going to unplug your machine, take the vacuum bag off, you're going to flip it over carefully, you're going to take the four feet off and the eight other base screws for the base panel. You have the screws off, gently remove the, the base plate, set it aside. Now we're going to be taking the controller out. Again, it's imperative that you make sure that your machine is unplugged. The uh, electronics is very sensitive and obviously you don't want to get shocked as well. So we're going to start by removing the four uh, pin cable there and then these two big rib ribbon cables just gently work them back and forth to take them off. And then finally, we're going to take off this connector right here. So now our controller is totally unplugged from the system. We're going to take out the four screws. There's four or one screw in each corner. It's always helpful to make sure that. It's always helpful to have a screwdriver that is magnetized so that your screws stay on the driver bit. Okay, now that we have our four screws out of our controller, it's free to be removed. So you want to gently pull it out to the right hand side. So you want to pull it this way. And you can see right here that our arms are connected and they separate right there. You don't want to try to take these screws off. You just want to simply slide it out and, and you can see that there's these little catches here that are very important not to break out off. So once you have it removed to the right, you can simply slide it out and there you have your uh, controller out. 